It was as if we were transported in time as we arrived at the stunningly beautiful campus of the American University of Sharjah. I felt a sense of nostalgia and really wanted to go back to school. We then slowly navigated our way to Shira, the Sharjah Entrepreneurship Center. Shira is a wonderful ecosystem, an innovation lab, a home for aspiring, dreamy-eyed but determined startups to establish their businesses. Here we sat down with Najla Al Mitfa, its general manager, and one of the inspirations behind this amazing initiative. Najla was born and raised in Sharjah. Her amazing career spans many continents, and she worked for companies like McKinsey, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Shell, and even Google. Her passion to support the local community and Emiratis, she worked for Khalifa Fund and is the founder of Khayarat. She also sits on the board of United Arab Bank and Sharjah Business Women's Council. Najla is a worthy mentor and an exceptional role model, particularly for all the young people in the region. She's a graduate from the University of Bath and an MBA from Stanford University. We are deeply honored and privileged to be here in this beautiful campus, this stunningly beautiful place that we're here at uh, the American University of Sharjah. We're right next to the library and we're inside Shira. And uh, today we have Najla al Mitfa, one of my favorite people here in Sharjah, even though she hasn't seen me that much. Only in Sharjah. No, only in Sharjah. Not only in Sharjah, one of my all time favorite okay. people. <laughs> But on a more serious note, I mean, you are a, a role model for, um, for a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. What are the important things that you, you, know, you talk about to them? I think there's things to be learned, as I said, from everybody uh, around us. Uh, as I've said in the, in the past, I always try and encourage them to get to know and understand themselves better mm -hmm. and not to be afraid to actually go in or follow in the footsteps of their dreams. What is your message to an eight, nine-year-old girl who is looking up to you, like a, your niece or somebody? What is your message to her, a young Emirati girl looking into the future? You know, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan recently uh, gave a talk at the Youth Majlis in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. and he was talking to the youth, and he said that there is no option but for your generation to be better than ours, for your lives to be better than ours. So whenever I look at an eight-year-old, that's the message I would want to have to them as well, is that it is your duty to have a life that, it is, that is better than the life that we have led. As I keep saying, you know, pushing humanity forward, I think uh, we will settle for nothing less. The power of entrepreneurship. Uh, well, entrepreneurship has the power to change lives and really change the world. And that's one of the things that we speak to our students about here at Shara is don't think about entrepreneurship just, you know, a business that will make me money and think about just a bottom line driven uh, enterprise, but think about an enterprise that solves a real problem for the world and really change lives, change the world and change the people around you. What are your views on failure and how important is it? I think that it's impossible to have any form of success without some failure along the way. Uh, so I think it's a really important step and uh, I now know a new model called the five F's. So I'm going to be using that uh, more frequently thanks to Tarek. But I do think even looking back at my own life uh, that it would have been impossible for me to come as far as I have uh, without having failed several times along the way and learned at each step. People seem to be scared of the future. Are you? And what's the message for, that, for the people listening? I think sometimes people are scared of uncertainty, but it's, it's a reality that we need to live with uh, in today's world. Am I scared? No, I'm not scared. I think, uh, on the contrary, I'm hopeful. Uh, I think I'm hopeful because I'm constantly around the youth who will be leaders of tomorrow, and I see the kind of passion and the energy that they bring to work and the kind of purpose that drives the work that they do. So I think that they will be building a better tomorrow for not just themselves, but for the generations to come. And so I remain hopeful and optimistic that it is going to be a great future ahead.